Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and another Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber exclusive. Today we are featuring Pretty Pink Posh with this Darling Coffee Friends stamp and die set. Um, the limited edition exclusive, you can either get a stamp die combo or a stamp set only, and it is limited edition, meaning once it's gone, it's gone. There is the stamp set that we are using today, and I decided to take one of the solid images from the stamp set and create a repeating pattern. I'm gonna use some of my favorite shades of Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Ink in kind of pinky, peachy colors to red, and then some great aqua typish or mint, more mint greens. Um, to do kind of a holiday-ish background, and then we will add some of the coffee cups to a little, what I'm going to call, chalkboard frame. Now, I did try a couple of different things with creating this background, and I found what I liked best was kind of a diagonal where all the coffee cups were the same color. I think this would be cute whether you do the bigger size coffee cup that I'm using here, or the smaller size. I am using a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of Nina 110 pound weight smooth white cardstock for my base. The colors of ink I'm using up in that upper corner and then just the little sliver you see, that is the cheeky color of positively saturated ink. The next color is blush. Then we're going to move on and then there's my head in the way, we are going to move on to watermelon and cherry as our final two shades in the pink, peach, red color combination. I wanted this to be kind of more of a modern take or a modern color combination. I am using my Misty. I didn't feel comfortable lining these up with an acrylic block, even though that would have been much quicker because probably wouldn't have been quicker. I wouldn't have got it lined up very well. Now I'm eyeballing it. I am not, you know, getting a ruler out or anything like that. Mostly I am just stamping a row and then I will line up the next coffee cup in the next row down in between the two above it. So you will see me kind of working back and forth and then I'm gonna to need to go back to the blush color of ink to finish out that diagonal row. Surprisingly enough, in real time, this only took me between six and seven minutes to, to do this background. So while it is a little more time consuming, I suppose, it really is eye catching and it's a great way to create your own pattern paper backgrounds. I am a huge fan of creating your own backgrounds with stamps or stencils or whatever, that, or dyes. You can do it with all kinds of things. I just really love the look of creating your own. Now this is a very simple and clean, clean and simple really background. We're not gonna grunge it up. We're not gonna do splatter. We're gonna keep it pretty much as you see. Something else to note with these inks, as with a dye ink, when you stamp it, it's going to be a little bit more saturated and as it the ink dries and absorbs into the cardstock it will smooth out and it will also I hate to say fade but it, it will fade just a tiny little bit so it won't be quite as intense as you see here but the colors are absolutely gorgeous and look amazing in the finished design we're going to finish out our red coffee cup row and then we're going to move on to some greens The other coffee cups in this set, maybe you wanna color all of the images in in your background or you could just do outline images. There is both a big and a small version of the coffee cups and I use the big version obviously here for my background, but for the accents in the little chalkboard frame we're gonna create, those are going to be um, the small version. So I'm flipping it, you'll notice I flip my cardstock around quite a bit, just however it works to get things lined up the best. Moving on to our greens, I am using Dublin and then Lucky and finally finishing off with Fairway. Now, 
to pick out colors that go together well, I have ink swatches for all of my Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated inks. And it was really easy to grab the ink swatches, look at them and see what went together, and then pick those colors out of my stash and stamp them without having to stamp them and then find out that maybe they don't look as good together as I thought they might. So I highly recommend ink swatches if at all possible. I keep mine on a binder ring, which means I can very easily just kind of lay them next to each other and say, oh, I like this color combination or no, let's look for something else. So here is going to be the lucky color. Aren't these fun? I just love how this is turning out. It turned out even better than I thought it was going to. To finish off my card, obviously since I'm considering this a pattern paper background, I wanted something that would highlight the images from the Coffee Friends stamp set that wouldn't make the images like float into the background because this is gonna be a busier background. If this was a pattern paper I pulled from a pattern paper pad, I would consider this a busy background because there's lots of colors and, and kind of a lot going on. So to do that, I wanna ground it. I went and looked in my stash and found the Party Cake dies from Pretty Pink Posh and it has an awesome frame in it that I think we can build up to look kind of like what I'm considering a chalkboard frame at a coffee shop. That's what I'm going to have it look like. And then we're gonna have the coffees lined up along the bottom edge. I have a scrap of smooth white cardstock here. This is Nina 110 pound weight cardstock as well. And it's a scrap left over from another project. I'm going to stamp my images on it. I did stamp the hearts from the stamp set, but keep in mind I did ended up not using those. Now I'm gonna set the outline images aside for just a second. And I am gonna take some slate gray cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. I'm gonna use the uh, uh, powder tool on it and I'm gonna stamp one of the greetings from the Coffee Friends stamp set on this slate gray cardstock with clear embossing ink and heat emboss with white embossing powder. Now the powder does give a chalkboard feel, but it's not going to retain that because if you rub the cardstock at all, you're going to rub away the powder, which in most cases is what we want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I give my cardstock a chalkboard look really quickly and easily with a white pigment ink pad. After I heat emboss my greeting, I am gonna make sure it's cool and I'm gonna buff away any of the excess powder hanging out on the cardstock, just like I normally would when I'm heat embossing and I wanna get rid of that powder residue. So I'm gonna just take the corner of a microfiber cloth and buff that away. We're going to die cut this now with the Party Cake die from Pretty Pink Posh. And Pretty Pink Posh has some really great kind of basics there. And I am going to die cut it from slate gray cardstock once and white cardstock two times. On that center piece, I'm taking my white pigment ink and I'm just very lightly rubbing it over the surface of my cardstock. Then I'm going to take my microfiber cloth and buff away any ink that might be on top of that heat embossing. And just like that, we have a chalkboard looking background. Look at that. It looks like you've, you've wiped away the chalk residue, doesn't it? Really, really easy. I'm gonna set my frames aside for a second and we're gonna zoom in and color in these coffee cups super quick. I picked some colors of Copic markers that I felt like matched my ink pads. So I definitely stamped the background first, and then I went to my marker stash and said, what colors will complement and coordinate with my background paper? And I have listed those marker colors down in the description below the video here on YouTube, as well as over on my blog post. The link to my blog post can be found down in the description. I did pink and red striped straws, and we're gonna put both of those straws in the mug. And then I am coloring in the stripey cup with all of the colors to mimic the look of stamping the solid coffee cups on the background of our card. 
Something great about this Coffee Friends stamp set from Pretty Pink Posh is that the style of the girls, even though I didn't use them on my card today, but the, the images in this stamp set are going to work back to a lot of your other Pretty Pink Posh stamp sets. So if you love mixing and matching within a company, I think this is a fantastic addition and you could really mix and match back to some other sets that you probably already own or sets that you'll be picking up. I'm gonna color in the coffee cup or coffee mug with colors of red. And then the saucer I'm going to do in that mint green color. And then the final lidded coffee cup we're going to do in green and then kind of the peach pink color. And then I will grab some cool gray markers for the lids of the coffee cups, which I think is just a nice balance to all of the color. And then we'll grab some browns for the coffee or hot cocoa. I guess it's more, well, it could be either one that is in the mug. Here are the greens. I like the green and pink together for this one. Super quick coloring. It literally took me no time at all. I will say I did use the Brother Scan and Cut to cut my images as I did not have the coordinating dies when creating this card. Here are the cool grays for the lids of the coffee cups, and then some brown shades for the mug. Once I'm done coloring, I will run to my brother's scan and cut and die cut these images, and then we are going to put it all together, and we are going to do my favorite part, which is embellish the card with finishing details that really make it come to life. On the coffee mug, I did take an X-Acto knife and I cut a little slit in it so that I could slide the straws into the cup and it just gives a little bit more seamless look. We're going to tuck the cups and the mug down along the bottom edge. The reason I stamped warm and cozy wishes higher in that square is so that I could line the bottom with these little cups. I'm gonna adhere the warm and cozy wishes directly to the background. And then we are going to glue down both the frame and the scallop. Those are actually, it's all one die. All these pieces are one die, but it does die cut them separately, so it's super fun. And then we're going to just stack pieces. You can see I'm stacking several here because I want the center of the chalkboard to be set back and the rest of it be a frame. Then the outer frame, I'm going to use the gray, and then we're going to have white on the inside with that cute little scallop. I love using all of the little bits and pieces for this and it just looks amazing. And doesn't the white pigment ink look so good? It really does look like a chalkboard. I love it. I did the mug in the center and then we're going to add the coffee cups over to the sides. Also in the stamp set is an image that looks like steam coming out of the cup. Now I thought I would use the hearts and I even die cut them, but I kind of decided I don't think that I love them. So I'm going to do the steam coming out of the cups and I just use the white pigment ink for that so it's really faint. And I'm still trying to use the hearts and I just don't think that they're what I want to use for my card. Don't be afraid to change your mind so that the card becomes what you want. I'm actually gonna use some Trinity, um, Trinity Stamps, pardon me, Santa Cap embellishments and large peppermint candy embellishments. These hearts are from a heart mix that I think I got on Etsy. Well, I know I got it on Etsy. Someone gifted it to me. Um, and they come in all kinds of different colors, which there was a mint. I have red from Trinity Stamps, but I like the mint color because it really matched back to the colors I'm using on this card. The little Santa hat looks really cute, kind of framing up warm and cozy wishes. And then we're just adding peppermints and heart accents that finish off the rest of the design perfectly. The final thing that I'm going to do for my card is take some Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard and we are going to apply that to the straws coming out of the mug. It goes on kind of 
I don't want to say opaque, but it isn't very easy to see through. But when it dries, it dries completely clear and it just has a bit of sparkle to it. So it's translucent with some awesome sparkly. And there is the finished card. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for the Pretty Pink Posh Stamp Timber 2022 Limited Edition Exclusive called Coffee Friends. The supplies I used to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring the Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber 2022 Limited Edition Exclusive from Tim Holtz. Please check out the video in, if you haven't seen it already for even more Stamp Timber inspiration. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you'd like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. I would love to have you as a member of the community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.